want to play Haas. And then he took out Raptor yesterday in three sets. Andre off to the best start of his career, having won 10 straight matches, 21 and two overall as Gamble oh. serves to start the match. These two have a bit of history. They played seven times. The last meeting was in San Jose, indoors. Agassi winning in straight sets, 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. Here in the final, they'll play best of five. Last year, Jan Michael reached the quarterfinals here at the Erickson before losing to Leighton Hewitt, who, as we showed you, he beat this year to get to the final. There's some of that power. 117 mile an hour serve right down the tee. He can beef it up much more than that, as Agassi well knows. Perfectly placed in the corner. That was 124. Jim Michael has been bothered by a strained nerve in the tricep in his right arm. And that can make the serving motion painful at times. Five aces that leads the tournament. to hit off the ground and play these long, complicated points. Agassi finally deciding that point in his favor, giving himself a break point right off the start. And let's check in with the third member of our team today. Here's Pam Shriver. Pam? Well, thanks, Bill. I know a little bit about shoulder problems. And this nerve problem that uh, Jan Michael Gamble has starts in the back of his shoulder, runs down his tricep, and past his elbow. And Bill Norris, the longtime ATP Tour trainer, just told me that right before he goes out to play, he gets a very, very hot ointment that sort of somewhat numbs the injury and also Bill Norris expects to be called out there in about a set and a half. He's gone out there several times during this tournament to help uh, really aid and relieve the pain that uh, Jan Michael's suffering in his right shoulder but it seems to be working well. He just fights off more and more match points. So he'll come out in about a set and a half with chicken soup which <laughs> he will apply directly to the shoulder area. That'll be fun to see. Start for Agassi. Perfectly placed serve, only 98 miles an hour. 15 love. Oh. 
Bill Norris. Tour trainer looking on. All time good guy. Yes. 30 bucks. there from Jan Michael Gamble. He says he's really improved his volley game and that ought to help. This is back a couple of nights ago. That's Bill Norris working working the shoulder, the tricep area. Still with 55 aces, so he's been able to battle through the discomfort. We'll be looking forward to a little time off, though. Oh, 40-15. parts of Andre Agassi's game, but what's become truly underjudged is how good his serve is. He doesn't pump it up the way some of the other guys do, like Jen Michael Gamble maybe, but boy, he can work that whole box, keep you off balance and set himself up. And nobody does this better. That's, that's my concern on behalf of Jan Michael Gamble. What's he going to do against this guy? Yeah, he's got a bigger serve, but Agassi's got a tremendous return. And off the ground, I think Agassi's still tougher, and Agassi moves better than Jan Michael Gamble. Maybe he'll do a little bit of that. First ace of the day at 124. I mean, the key for Jan Michael Gamble, obviously, is to hold. Just keep this match even, but he's already been busted. There we go. Don't let him hit it. Second ace. Chuck Gamble looking on, Jan Michael's father, also his coach, watching his dad play tennis outside of Spokane when uh, Jan Michael was about five years old that he first became interested in the game. Gamble. Gamble holds in love, but Agassi up an early break. Steffi Graf, among those looking on today, she won this event five times. She won every major at least four times, including seven Wimbledons. Andre says the lovely part about this woman is that you'd never know, listening to her, talking to her, living with her as they do. They've bought a place in San Francisco together, but um, they're still pretty much dug in in Vegas for the next couple of years. is the sixth All-American final in the 17-year history of this event, but the first since 1995 when Andre beat Pete Sampras in three sets. Winner from Agassi. Since you know unforced errors yet for Andre. Oh, he's come out cleanly, hasn't he? I like that Jan Michael Gamble, though, is, uh, is willing to come to the net more. That's a part of his game, again, that he's really tried to work hard on. Oh, but man, going up against Agassi, that's the, the hardest player to go up against if you're trying to venture to the net. He's been playing more doubles over the last couple of years and feels that that has helped improve his game at the net. 40 love. That's a nice shot. Got something to work with there by pulling oh, Agassi so far wide. And we heard from Jan Michael Gamble. We heard him say, I've got to somehow not let him dictate every point. He was able to do it right there. So 
So Agassi up 3-1 here in the first set against Jan Michael Gamble. Well, you can access exclusive video highlights from today's men's final with the most comprehensive tennis coverage on the net. It's all at cbs.sportsline.com or AOL keyword CBS Sportsline. Replaying that backhand that he chummed into the net. Gamble has been the third best American player recently behind Andre and Pete Sampras. Jan Michael actually used to come all the way to Miami to watch this tournament when he was playing junior tennis back in Colbert, Washington. That's a direct flight from Miami. <laughs> There's no shuttle there. Colbert, Washington. Just outside of Spokane. A lot more pine trees and people. Population 200. <laughs> They're both shaking their heads over this one. Fairly friendly let cord that Gamble was able to put away. 30 low. down the line for 40 love. 40 love. Two hands off both sides, although Gamble says more and more he's willing to let go one of his uh, hands, hitting four hands, which he thinks will open up his strike zone a little bit more. Okay, Gamble. Third ace, three, two. Agassi up a break in the first set of the men's championship. Andre Agassi leads the ATP Tour Champions race as the best player since the start of the year. And should Jan Michael win today, he'd move up to number two behind Andre. You can see how far down Pete Sampras is at number six right now. Of course, the year is young. But Andre Agassi has already so much distanced himself from anybody else. And of course, if he were to continue on, he'd be the oldest player to ever finish the year at number one. It's hit all. 15 all. Gamble is working on the best streak of his career as you look at the first serve percentage. Gamble has won 12 of his last 13 matches, including title at Delray Beach. Second ace for Andre. The only loss in this stretch for Gamble was at the quarterfinals in Indian Wells to Yevgeny Kafelnikov. Jan Michael Gamble also won the doubles in Delray Beach, and he, even there in singles, he had to fight off six match points to win that. So we know <laughs> this guy is going to keep fighting. There's Brad Gilbert, Gray's longtime coach. In fact, it was here at this event all those years ago when Andre and Brad just had dinner one night during this, the event. 
And Brad said, I really think I can help you. He got Andre to the final. Cheers. He has a wonderful collection of people around him to keep himself going. I mean, Gil Reyes, his physical trainer, is just one of, one of the best people he could possibly have around him. Brad Gilbert has done so much for his game. Why? Gamble. A chance for Jan Michael Gamble to break back and get back on serve. the shot that gave Gamble something to play with. Took a full-blooded swing at it for the winner. And we're all even again. looking more and more relaxed against Agassi. He really is, and he's, he's getting himself to the ball quickly enough so he can really power it. I mean, that's going to be the, one of the great keys in this match, is to stay up with the pace of each shot. Ten winners for Gamble. Gamble averaging 120 on his first serve. That last one was just 99, but perfectly placed. 30-15. Court, the tennis center at Crandon Park in Miami, a beautiful 30-acre facility. The stadium court here opened in 1994. And Andre will serve at 3-4 for a set. <laughs> wonderful two weeks of tennis here. Terrific women's final 
yesterday, Venus Williams saving eight championship points. <laughs> Jennifer Capriotti serving each of the eight and only getting in one of those serves, her serves. I'm sure she's still thinking about that one. It may take a while. Yep. Thirty low. Jen Michael Gamble was worrying Andre's serve the first few games, but now he's going after it. He's getting a good look and going for it. Put a little bit more heat. Look at that. That's good stuff. Good job. Both players have such good return games. So of course, quality of serve is an absolute key to the match. Look at this. Gamble has won every point he, where he's gotten the first serve in. And that's almost half the time. holes and we're level at four. four hands off. Look at our tournament summary. First appearance in a Masters Series final for Jan Michael Gamble. Andre Agassi looking for his fourth championship. And Venus Williams and the win over Jennifer Capriati her third championship in four years. serve from Gamble. 126 miles an hour. wrong with this serve it was well placed about 94 miles an hour Andre got a piece of it though Even though Andre Agassi lost that point, he wants this match to go that way. Long rallies, turning it more into a track meet than a hitting battle. Three out of five sets since this man just fine. an awful lot of work on it. 
nice extension there from Gamble. And he really bends it away from Agassi. Gives himself game point. Another one. Five, four, and we come back. Andre Agassi will serve to stay in the first set. Looking forward to our trip to Charleston in three weeks. Yeah. New venue for the Family Circle Cup. It's upcoming on CBS. But business at hand today, the men's final, Andre Agassi and Jan Michael Gamble. Gamble has been very steady, calm on this, perhaps the biggest stage of his career. The final of an event of this caliber. He settled down quickly, even though he got down that early break. 15 long, 4-5. That was it. Andre there in plenty of time. Campbell goes for the change up here, but Agassi saw it coming and had a great first step to it. He controlled this. 30 love. Oh, that was an easy one. Too much time to decide where to put that. This could have given him game points. And he'll have it here. 40-15. When you're trying to win a set off of someone especially like Andre Agassi, boy, you just got to spit the return back. I mean, that's your first order of business. Is make, the, make the other guy play. final of the 2001 Erickson Open here in Miami. Players have exchanged service breaks here in the first set. And we're level at five. Andre Agassi, three-time champion here against Jan Michael Gamble, who grew up idolizing Agassi in his first Tennis Masters Series final. Agassi's Happy to be getting a second serve. He's only won six points off of Gamble's serve. That one had a nice kick to it. Second serve from Gamble up high, taking Agassi slightly out of his strike zone. that one down the middle, doesn't he? That's number seven. Thirty love. Taking very good care of his service game. Getting his serves in, moving them all around the box, changing the pace. Very smart serving from Gamble. Oh. And here you see that volley that he wants to work on. He, doesn't, he sure doesn't serve in volley much. His replay was better than the original.
40-15. Shane Michael has come in 11 times. He's won six points at the net. Changes the tension level of a match if a guy you don't really expect to come into the net much is in there, in your face. And it adds such a dimension to your game if you're willing to do that. Now he's getting tight, isn't he? Dad looks a little high strung himself. Stadium court from above. This tournament was first held out in Delray Beach in 1985. The men's champion that first year was Tim Mayotte. The women's final was a pretty good one. Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova. So, uh, long and outstanding history for this event. Now in its 16th year. Nice serve for Agassi. Trying to send this first set to a tie break. Third ace, 15 love. Jan Michael, that was a silly shot. Michael Gamble all over the court, making him hit out of position, hitting one hand. See how he had to lose that second hand. And again, doing a fine job of stretching him there, but Gamble comes up with it. above the tennis center at Crandon Park Stadium Court packed house here for the men's final as we begin the first set tie break players records Gamble will be the first to serve match Jim Michael's ability to stay calm and not to, to press to be patient yeah I, I think that's absolutely right he's got to keep his composure and again take care of his serve 
And he does not want to get into long rallies with this guy. I mean, the little ball guy wants that to happen. <laughs> and that's why Gamble, I think, is under a little bit of pressure to end points early. Go for his shots perhaps a little bit earlier than he'd like. Forehand not doing the job for Agassi at the moment. That's his sixth error off that side alone. That's usually his best shot. Oh, oh boy. Campbell's smiling because he's done some good work to give himself that backhand, which could have won him a point. This was a tremendous reaction Gamble had. And now when he's got a little bit more time, he goes wide on it. And he knows. <laughs> he says, wait a minute, I made the great shot before that one and I goofed <laughs> up this. So 2-1. Another backfiring forehand from Andre Agassi. Take a look at the Mac cam. It's clearly long. So Agassi will serve in this first set tie break at 2 3. Change ends. Mary, we spoke a little bit about Andre and the, the tennis that he's playing now, about to turn 31. If somebody had said to you 10 years ago before he won the first Grand Slam that Andre would have seven at this point and still be playing well, in fact, <laughs> playing as well as he is, would you have been surprised? I'd, I'd, I'd never believe it. But then again, I'm so proud of both Andre Agassi and Jennifer Capriati. She's playing her best ball now. 12 years after she first arrived on the scene, she wins her first major. And good things happen if you keep filling the pail. He knows what to do up there. He doesn't come up too much. Four, three, but uh, very impressive. And he didn't overplay any of those volleys. You know what I mean? And he knew he couldn't win until uh, he was finally given something to work with. And he used that tremendous shot from Gamble against him, finding a nice angle into the open air. Gamble appreciating the effort. Jim Michael will serve at 3 4. Three, 
Stan Michael again would like to have that one back. Again, I, I feel against Agassi, he wants to end the points earlier than perhaps he truly can at times. His length on that shot gives Agassi a chance to end it. Well, it was about a 50 minutes for that first set. 7 6 Agassi in the tiebreak. Well, after Andre Agassi won the tiebreak 7-4, he'll serve to start the second set. And a look, Mary, at the numbers from the first set. A break each is what made it so even. Agassi serving at a much higher percentage, but uh, boy, Gamble coming up with some huge aces to just keep things interesting. very long couple of weeks for Jan Michael Gamble winning the event in Del Rey, getting himself to this final, and now it's three out of five. I bet he, he wishes it were a two out of three situation, don't you? Especially against Agassi, who, can, who tires you out more than anybody. It's like going up against a freight train because it becomes such a physical match. That one's spun out of control. Or can Jan Michael win a match if he has to stay back and pound it with Andre, or does he have to win an awful lot of points on his serve? I'm not liking his chances. <laughs> I mean, if, you're, if you share the same strength with Andre Agassi, <laughs> you know, that's, that's swell, except that it doesn't give you too, too many places to go to. That's five aces now for Andre. 40-15. And again, the fact that Andre Agassi moves still so much better than Gamble is a big, big part of the story. First double for Andre. If you can play with two hands off both sides, it's tremendous. I mean, Monica Sellis has shown us that, but you've got to be so quick to give yourself a chance to get behind every ball. Agassi holds to start the second set. Let's check in once again with Pam Shriver. Thanks, Bill. I'm with Andy Roddick, who was the sensation of the first week of the tournament with your win over Pete Sampras. You're 18 years of age. You just up, live up the road in Boca Raton. Tell us about what it feels now to be in the top 90 in the world. You're going to get in all the majors, which is one of your big goals of the year. Yeah, that was one of my first goals of the year, so uh, I'm glad I got to do it this tournament. I'm looking forward to it. What's your goal now that you've accomplished that one? I'm actually meeting with uh, my coach and uh, all those people tomorrow, so I'll discuss it, and uh, hopefully I'll have my goal set. Andy, you know there's been a lot of pressure on the young U.S. players looking for the next generation that can help uh, after this Sampras Agassi one. Do you feel any of that pressure, or are you just having a great time? No, I'm just having fun with it. I mean, I'm an 18-year-old. I get to travel around and play play tennis, so uh, it's, it's great for me. Thanks a lot, Andy. Good luck the rest of the year. Oh, thanks a lot. He's got game. Yeah, couple, that guy. Couple. Huge serve. He's got the biggest serve on the tour, Roddick. He hits oh. him about 140. <laughs> okay, some big wins against Marcelo Rios, 
champion in 98 here. He has beat Andre Agassi when he won that year. And Sampras. Andy Roddick has also been practicing quite a bit with Andre Agassi. I mean, you can't have a better practice partner than that. And Agassi has high praise for the kid. Not only is his serve huge, he's got a tremendous return game. And uh, very big off the ground as well. how Agassi's been wrapping his frame around some of these shots. You don't normally see that from, from him. He, he tends to catch the ball so quickly and so early. It's not nearly as gusty as it was yesterday, but the wind is still playing with the, with the shots out there. See Gamble checking the sun. The unforced air is now 17 for Gamble. Got to be careful here. He played so well in that first set. Doesn't want to get behind early here in the second. The psychology of this match would have been so different had Jan Michael Gamble been able to secure that first set. Now he's really looking in for a tough time. of his opportunities as Agassi. break for Agassi. Up a set and now an early break in the second. Well, beginning Thursday, CBS Sports again proudly presents the Masters, a tradition unlike any other. Defending champion B.J. Singh, Tiger Woods seeking a record fourth consecutive major championships head the field at Augusta National. Tiger with a chance to win that fourth major at Augusta to be a remarkable week coming up in Augusta. That's nice. He had a flabby game last last game, Jan Michael Gamble. He's in a better mindset, obviously, now. Quick to this ball, taking it nice and early. Thank 
Ken Gamble jumping on the thing. Chan Michael battling back and an opportunity at left 30. Agassi's got Jan Michael scrambling, in fact, forcing him to play with one hand, taking him way off his comfort zone. And Andre will even say, he'll say, you know, sometimes I want to keep points long. I want to keep them going instead of going for the kill. 15-30. Like that, we're level at 30. guy who is just a hitting machine that was his reputation for so long you know he, he played like his hair was on fire well now he doesn't have hair and he's not on, on fire except for this thinking and he throws in an eight that's number six for Agassi in control in the final well the trainer has been called by Jan Michael Gamble there you see him signaling been troubled, as we mentioned earlier, by a nerve strain in his tricep of the right arm. Bill Norris is out supplying treatment. Putting a little heat on the arm. That's the word we get from Pam Shriver. So, Jan Michael set to serve at love three, down a set to Andre Agassi. Just very stoic about the whole thing. <laughs> Extremely. Right back to work. 15 love. It's 117 miles an hour, too. Look at this. Can she take a punch or what? <laughs> she could be unconscious. Expression right? never, <laughs> never changed. <laughs> 15 all. Oh. It's a serious business out here. So Michael has to play through the pain, and so do the lines people. She'll be calling for the train. <laughs> tries a lob but doesn't get enough height on it that's a tough shot a spike from Andre on the backhand side Andre lets it go 
serve, 102 mile an hour, second serve that squirts off the line. And it came at the right time to gamble at 30 all. Forty thirty. Oh. <laughs> So Jan Michael Gamble holds for 3-1 here in the second set. Time for our shot of the tournament now. And it came on Friday night, Leighton Hewitt against Jan Michael Gamble. It's coming up, Mary. This smash would have given Leighton Hewitt a set point. <laughs> he hits it, right, <laughs> hits it right at Jan, Jan Michael Gamble. He comes up with the reflex winner <laughs> and the match. Saw that little delay. I think he couldn't believe what he just saw. But it was a turning point in the match, enabling Jan Michael to get here to the final against Andre Agassi. They've been playing for an hour and nine minutes. Agassi winning first set in a tie break. And serving at 3-1 here in the second. Bit of a late call. Thirty love. Baseline. So look how far off the baseline he is. Comes up with a very snappy forehand. Dragging him around coast to coast and making him play that forehand with just one. Just one hand. And that's pretty much when you know you've got this guy in trouble. of the Erickson Open will continue after this word from your local station. It is a beautiful afternoon here in South Florida. Our aerial coverage of today's men's final provided by the Windstar Airship and Office.com, a service from Windstar. Just above the stadium court at the Tennis Center at Crandon Park, there's Andre Agassi, reigning Australian Open champion in his sixth final of this event. Jan Michael Gamble trying to hang around in this match, but it's an issue for him that he's only serving 18% right now. <laughs> against the greatest returner in the history of men's tennis. <laughs> he might want to rethink that whole thing. And you, you saw him looking up. He's also having some trouble with the sun. That's a beauty. 122 for number eight. This is the side where the sun has bothered him.
wonderful cross court by Agassi. Thirty fifteen. what Jan Michael Gamble does not want to have to do. Andre now, it seems, in utter control of the outcome of this match. It would be a hard thing for Jan Michael Gamble to trip things up now. He must be wondering what his options are at this point. First thing, of course, he's got to get better, better serving going on here. Take care of that. That was a good looking second serve at 105 miles an hour. He got something to work with. And he'll throw a racket for you. He's busted a couple in his uh, young career. He's just getting aggravated. Now he claims he goes to other NBA games, other sporting events. He says he likes when the crowd is making a lot of noise. He said even when they start booing for me, I, I don't mind that. But he is very clearly frustrated. And Agassi with a break point for 5-1. And he's converted on both he's had already. Catch the line. So it's Deuce. point see the fatigue I think mm. starting to set in taking a little more time uh, he pulled off on that shot shoulders are slumped a bit the quality of energy so much higher on Andre Agassi's side of the net with good reason Jan Michael Gamble's got a whole lot of tennis in him these last three weeks he's been hasn't lost in a couple of weeks Hit the net cords, a let call for serve. Not only did he win the doubles in Delray Beach, just up the road, two, week, two weekends ago, he, he, he won the singles and the doubles with Andy Roddick. Broken string. That's why he lost the 
Oh, on that one. What a horrible time for that to happen to Jen Michael Gamble. Look at that. that. He wouldn't have missed. See, see that string break right through the swing. That's just rotten luck. Well, later, get a special 90-minute look at the life of one of basketball's most dazzling talents, as Harry Connick Jr. narrates Pistol Pete, The Life and Times of Pete Maravich, coming up at 4.30 Eastern Time today on CBS. So Andre Agassi with a chance to serve out this second set. Best of five here in the final. Agassi out quickly. <laughs> Andre Agassi taking great care of his own serve, losing only five points this set. Oh, oh man, that's just all over the place. It's not just a fatigued body now that John Michael Gamble's going up against. It's a fatigued mind. Is that a result of playing somebody like an Andre Agassi who I, makes you work so hard physically and mentally in a match? Well, when, you, when you've played so much ball and then you got to go up against this guy. I mean, that's the worst guy to face. Look at Andre. He's just cat and mousing him, isn't he? You watch Andre. He's barely moving. Right. Every now and then, Jan Michael Gamble goes for something that connects. You know, he can jerk the leash, but over five sets... That's not the way to win. Triple set point. Game goes in at eight. And that's the seventh of the match for Andre Agassi, who is in command as he tries to win this event for the fourth time in his illustrious career. Well, if he holds on, Andre Agassi will win his 11th straight match and he'll be 22 and 2 overall since the start of the year. This will be his third title in the Australian Open, of course, and recently at Indian Wells. They've been playing for an hour and 24 minutes, and Jan Michael Gamble looks like he's been through a war. Trying to pull himself back into this match. Gamble will serve to start set number three. really got himself in trouble look at those look at those second unit serves he had to keep putting in, in the second set against Agassi's very healthy 81 a lot more errors than Andre Agassi and of course on Agassi broke him twice that's nine for Gamble and so. another alert linesman <laughs> not the same woman on that on the uh, on that side now but quickly a quick head duck to keep him alive. Oh, that's so tough. A fine pickup volley from Jan Michael Gamble, but even though it was so low off the ground, Agassi does a tremendous job with some quick feet to scoop this thing up into the open water. Boy, that's nice. Way below his strike zone, and it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, though, he's got more winners than Andre Agassi. Hasn't gotten him any sets. Another winner. 
seen Andre Agassi do that over the years. 98 mile an hour serve, so Agassi got to wrap his racket around that one. 40-30. That's the danger of trying to take a little too much off your serve to make sure it goes in. But he surely has to beep up, beef up his first serve percentage, Gamble. Very tough return keeps Agassi alive, and then he spits this one over. On the run, off a very tough shot, he still looks like he's in control. Puzzle. Well, because J. Michael Gamble was one controlling this rally. He had Agassi on the run. Still didn't come up with it. And Agassi always giving that impression that of having something in reserve. And a break chance to start the third set. to start the third. Look at our tournament summary. This is the sixth consecutive year that the top seed on the men's side will fail to win. Andre was the last in 1995. Venus Williams winning for the third time. Steffi Graf went on to win five times in her career. This is the All-American men's final, and there was an All-American women's final. Yesterday, Jennifer Capriati and Venus Williams. That was the first since Chris Ebert and Martina Navratilova in 85, the first year of this event. You know, I'm considered one of the great players of my generation because I've won seven majors. Well, his girlfriend's won 22. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they were the men's and the women's champions in 1995 and again in 1996. It was at this tournament a few years ago when Andre started to court Steffi Graf. Or as he says, I stalked her. <laughs> she got no mixed messages from me, is what Andre says about it. of being together with Stephanie and Andre a couple of times, and they are wonderful together. Really something. Again, Agassi is so much in charge of this match, you can't imagine something changing that. Walked away from that point. 40-15. That's the difference between Andre Agassi and so many other players. He understands the value of points. 
We were talking with the great Tony Trabert about yesterday's women's final, and Tony is so frustrated that the, they play each point the same way, both of them, every point. Not knowing which are more expensive than others. Agassi hasn't played all out these last couple of points, but he's still got a game point to consolidate his break in this third set. Already up two sets. Again, let's check in with Pam Shriver. Thanks, Bill. I'm with the U.S. Davis Cup captain, Patrick McEnroe, who's watching with interest, I suppose more from Jan Michael Gamble's standpoint, because he played for you, and he might play later on in the year? Well, hopefully, but, you know, I'm always holding out hope that maybe Andre will want to play again sometime soon, but I'm just enjoying uh, seeing two Americans in the women's final yesterday and two more in the men's today. Looks like a different landscape for the young American men who've started to win some matches. That must please you no end. Oh, definitely. I mean, Jan Michaels had a great year so far. Andy Roddick obviously beating Sam for this year. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of hope for the future. It's a lot of excitement for me to see guys like Andre and Pete supporting the young guys, practicing with them, giving them advice. Uh, it's all a group effort, so I'm happy with what those guys are doing as well. Now, you know our director, Bob Monsbach, well. He wants us to do a little play-by-play -play here for a couple games, okay? We'll give Bill and uh, Mary a break. I know they're working hard up there, and it is seven six six one two L. so we have to do something to try to keep people entertained out there. I understand that. 15, love, Gamble serving. Oh. Mary, I hope Pam, excuse me, Mary's up there, that uh, people are appreciating what they're seeing from Agassi now, because this is a guy who's playing as well as he's ever played. He's won seven majors. You know, it struck me as we watched the second serve that uh, in that last game when Agassi broke, you know, those were a couple of serves that would have gotten past Agassi about five years ago. And now he's so committed to every ball. He's getting so many balls back in play. And now it's just, uh, it's almost an abusive situation the way he's making Jan Michael work on every point. And, uh, you know, he's just forced now to go for big winners all the time. Uh, the last conversation was before the opening tie, and Andre said he, he didn't think it was going to be in his plans for, for that match and, and for the future. So, you know, I talked to Andre a lot. As I said, he's giving a, a lot to the Davis Cup effort, even if he doesn't play by helping the young guys. Andy Roddick, he's practiced with him. So, you know, Andre knows the door is always open for him. Uh, he's, he's one of the greatest ever, and he's put his time in in Davis Cup. You know, he's been there many times. People forget that a little bit, and uh, now's the time for him to focus on things he wants to do. I understand that. I also understand that we have to start looking to the future uh, for the Davis Cup effort, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about doing that. Second serve, 1530. Just unbelievable, Pam. I mean, that, that right there. Just for me, epitomizes why Agassi's number one right now and playing the best ever. He's able to run balls down, he's able to scrape balls out, he's moving so well. Uh, it's just remarkable to see a guy at his age, after all he's been through, be so committed now and, and play the type of tennis he's playing. You gonna want to get paid for this? Or are you okay volunteering today? I'm okay. Look, look, Bill and Mary, they could go have a cup of coffee, just relax a little bit, come back and, and, and call the last couple of games of the match because it's gonna be over real quick here. Yeah. Smile, we're on camera. <laughs> hey, hey, Patrick, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks a lot. Pat. Good luck the rest of the year. Back more with live action from the Erickson Open and Bill and Mary when we come back. Andre Agassi in control, and we asked Andre about where his game is now at the age of 30. 
I'm just a better athlete now. I'm stronger and I move better. And I've always had options with the ball because I, I can I can swing at the ball pretty convincingly, whether it's low, whether it's high. I can play different styles of shots. But if I move and I'm in position and then I have options on top of it, um, and then I have experience that kind of teaches me the hard way what not to do, I, I feel like I'm not only uh, have the opportunities, but I'm making good decisions too. So it's, it's all kind of coming together in a way that uh, leaves me a lot better than I've ever been. Well, the present, huh? ready to become the past against perhaps the future of American men's tennis. Andre has won the last six games. What did you just say? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> had so many incarnations of his career or you feel that that really is, is part of the reason that he's still so relatively fresh very much so there and his body's not nearly as beat up as a lot of the other guys around his age bill he has walked away he's walked off the stage a bunch of times and allowed himself to you know, regain enthusiasm and fitness and pete sampras has punched the clock day in day out for so many years that if he looks tired now and less committed well you can understand it not so this guy governor of the state of Florida was in attendance today for this men's final oh, and 40 30 anything that Jan Michael can do at this stage take more chances it's unfortunately the match really isn't up to him hasn't been for a while. But he's going to have to hope that Andre Agassi goes off like that time and again. And then he's got to be around and be willing to grub it out. I mean, I'm, I'm just not convinced anybody can grind with Andre Agassi these days, especially not on a hot day on a hard court. And that suits him just fine, Agassi. He's not going to chase down this flamethrower from Andre Agassi. Even if he was able to somehow kick it back, he was going to be in trouble on the very next shot. Well, it took just 17 minutes in the first set in the semifinal match against Patrick Rafter. Andre Agassi winning sixth love. Show. Join Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Bill Walton for all the latest news on the NCAA men's championship matchup between Arizona and Duke. Blue Devils with that remarkable comeback last night against Maryland. That's coming up next on CBS. So Gamble serving with love four down two sets against Andre Agassi. What Andre Agassi says about his position in tennis now, I mean, he knows that for entire seasons of his career, he was trespassing on his own purpose. And he said, look, this is my last comeback. This is it. <laughs> I'm going to try to hang around now and, and stay committed throughout the rest of my career. He knows at this stage he can't, he can't go away again and think 
to come back. He told us yesterday that he's already starting to think just a little bit about Roland Garros. And I tried to ask French him. Open. I was trying to commit him to, to the idea of trying to go for the Grand Slam. He, as, he, as he aptly points out, that's 21 matches on three different surfaces. Three out of five in the... Against a pretty deep field. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but it's possible. Obviously, he's the only man capable of winning all four majors in one year. This year, having already won the Australian. Of course, only the fifth player in tennis history to win all four of the Grand Slams. Roy Emerson, Rod Laver, Don Budge, and Fred Perry, the others. double for Jan Michael Gamble who really since early I think Mary in that second set has looked just exhausted yep things could have been so different had he been able to take that first set tie break Exactly right. I mean, and Bill, look, Agassi continues to look as fresh now in the third set as he did in the first. And Jan Michael Gamble knows he's going to have to earn every single point against Agassi. Double break point. Saves one. Gamble just frustrated with himself. He know he, I mean, he was not happy, though he won that point. He knows that Agassi had a pretty good look at that passing shot. Usually at this stage in the match, you'll let a couple go, but not him. He just keeps pulling the milk wagon. Tennis Center at Crandon Park. Our aerial coverage of today's men's final provided courtesy of the Windstar Airship. Windstar Airship is supplied by Windstar Communications, a leading broadband services company. Andre Agassi, after only an hour and 48 minutes, trying to serve it out against 23-year-old fellow American Chan Michael Gamble. Who feels a little older than that right now. Love you, Again, we must salute Gamble for the last couple of weeks. He won a tournament in Delray Beach, singles and doubles, and he got himself to this final, facing five match points along the way. But he's playing Andre Agassi, a man with a stout heart and a sharp sword. 15 all. did at the start of the match. It's got to be a little soul deadening on the other side of the court. It certainly does. <laughs> well, he said in one of his press conferences this week that age doesn't matter. It's all about where you are mentally and your game. He's got them both going. Oh. Beautiful preparation and gorgeous timing 
gives him the winner and a couple of match points too. Listen to the crowd. Appreciating the masterful performance they've seen from Agassi today. Love. What a performance. 6-1, six, six, six love. Straight sets for Andre Agassi, 7-6. And then in the next two sets, lost only one game. <laughs> That's nice. I love how it just lets everyone else enjoy it with him. A near perfect day for Andre Agassi in one of the great tennis venues of the world. Winning his 48th career title. And the first man to win this event four times. Straight sets over Jan Michael Gamble.